Kevin, you're running the Car Balance event at Motivation 23? Yes, that's correct. I will be, Claire. And it's the second year that this event has been in Motivation. That's right, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah. Do you want to tell me a little bit about how it works? I know the cars have to come up on the thing, but then what do they do there? Um, they'll drive up and drive up as slowly as possible until they actually get perfectly balanced. And they'll drive forward and backwards until they're perfectly balanced and we'll time them until so then. So when, when you, they've got to actually be level, don't they? they yes, they do. They can't be kind of on Yeah, it an has angle. to be perfectly level. Yeah, yeah. Now, so who wins? Is it the person that it can hold that balance for the longest? No, it's the person who actually gets up and is perfectly balanced in the quickest amount of time. Right, right. So if I took 10 minutes to get up there, but then stayed up there for half an hour, that wouldn't beat someone who no. took 10 seconds to get up there yes, and only correct. lasted five seconds. That's is there correct. a minimum amount of seconds that you have to last? No, there isn't. Once it's perfectly balanced, that's it. We cut the time off. Yeah, right. Yes. Oh, OK. Well, it sounds easy, but it's not, is it? No, as you can see, it's not really. Yeah. I do have a bit of trouble. Our quickest time so far is roughly 11 seconds. So. Wow. Wow. They're ranging from 11 seconds up to three, three and a half minutes sometimes. And is there like, what's the longest that you've seen someone attempt it over and over and over before giving up and going Roughly home? Roughly three minutes. Right, right. I think three minutes is a long time when you're yeah. only going an inch forward and an inch back. That's great. All right, well, I better let you get back to it. All right, then. Thank you, Claire.